I'm Katha Vachak and welcome to the realm of Katha. Today's Katha is from Hindu mythology about Goddess Sati. Goddess Sati was daughter of Prajapati Daksh and wife of Lord Shiva. Now Lord Shiva is one of the three supreme gods in Hindu religion who are known as Trimurti. These are Lord Brahma the creator, Lord Vishnu the preserver and Lord Shiva the destroyer. Prajapati Daksh was Vishwan's son of Lord Brahma the creator and was entrusted with the duty to populate the universe. He with his wife Prastuti had many daughters but Sati was his youngest and his favorite. Goddess Sati was reincarnation of Ardh Shakti or the better half of Lord Shiva and thus was destined to marry him. But her father Prajapati Daksh hated Lord Shiva and detested him due to his hermetic lifestyle. As she grew up Sati became more determined to fulfill her destiny and then went to Himalayas to meditate and to appease Lord Shiva. Pleased with her devotion, Lord Shiva agreed to marry her at once. Now Prajapati Daksh although did not approve of the marriage but reluctantly gave his consent. All the gods attended their wedding. After the wedding, Lord Shiva and Sati made Mount Kailash their humble abode and led their married life peacefully. Daksh felt insulted because he had to accept hermetic Lord Shiva as a son-in-law and decided to avenge his pride. Soon after the wedding, he organized a ritual yagya, which is a ritual sacrifice and invited all the gods and left Lord Shiva out. When Goddess Sati found out about the ritual, she was furious at her father. She requested Lord Shiva to participate in the ritual, but he refused. Determined to confront her father, she said, I am his daughter and he cannot stop me from attending the ritual. He cannot just leave me out of the ritual like this and I am going to confront him. Sensing trouble, Lord Shiva tried to stop her, but she would not listen to any reason. When Goddess Sati arrived at her father's house, he treated her coldly and then proceeded to insult Lord Shiva in front of everyone. Enraged at her father's behavior, a furious Goddess Sati declared that she would not tolerate her husband's insult. Invoking a sacrificial fire, she immolated herself. Lord Shiva was furious after learning about Sati's death. Unable to control his anger, he brought forth two superior beings, Veerbhadra and Bhadrakali, and ordered them to behead Daksh. Although many gods tried to help Daksh, but they were not able to stop Veerbhadra and Bhadrakali from destroying his army and beheading him. Lord Brahma pleaded to Lord Shiva for his son's life and asked for forgiveness for his behavior. Calming down, Lord Shiva revived Daksh and replaced his head with a goat's head. Then he picked up Sati's body and started roaming through the universe neglecting his duties. This concerns all the gods and they went to Lord Vishnu to ask for his help in reviving the balance of the universe. Lord Vishnu then used his Sudarshan Chakra, a celestial weapon, to cut Goddess Sati's body into different pieces. There were 52 total pieces which fell on earth at 52 different places which are now known as Shakti Peets in Hindu religion and have either a goddess Kali or a goddess Shakti temple in them. After this, Lord Shiva returned to Mount Kailash to meditate and mourn his wife's death. Eventually, goddess Sati returned to Lord Shiva by reincarnating as goddess Parvati. So this was today's Katha. Until next time, 